Okay, do you remember how to store information as a letter? So can we store this whole matrix as A and this whole matrix as B? Okay, let's go through how we would do that. Okay, if we type in our matrix here, so we use our squared off brackets, and then 2 comma 1, semicolon, and then negative 2, 0, semicolon, and then finally 0, 3, close it off. So here's our first set. Now I'm going to ask you to do multiple things with this. So what I want you to be able to do is get in the habit of storing these and just assigning it a letter. In this case, uh, let's call it letter A. Okay, so if you use this store button, STO, it's right above the on button. It's a little arrow. And we tell it we want to store it as our letter A. So we can use the alpha key, A, hit enter. Okay, so now this matrix, and you can see it, it appears 2, negative 2, 0 along down that column, 1, 0, 3. You can confirm it. Anytime we write the letter A now, it represents that matrix. Let's do the same thing with B. So if we store that in, as a matrix, 4, comma, 3, semicolon, and then 2, comma, 0, close off the brackets. We want to store that as letter B. Hit enter. And again, we can confirm it. It should look exactly like what we're expecting. Okay, and so now when I take a look at this, if I want to find the product of A times B, and A times B, enter it, and it confirms that what we did by hand was accurate, and yet it didn't take that amount of time to do it by hand. Okay, so do you think B times A is going to be the same? Okay, try it if you have it on your calculator. See what B times A is equal to. Yours didn't do it. Okay, now let's take a look at it. B is a 2 by 2, right? So if we come down here and look, a 2 by 2, and A was a 3 by 2. Okay, can this be done? No. 2 and 3 are different, so we know right away this is going to be <coughs> undefined. Okay, so do you remember the property that allows you to say that A times B is equal to B times A? You guys remember that property from the very first chapter? Anybody remember what that was called? Okay, so this is an example of commutative. Okay, I remember associative is just the grouping, so it doesn't change the order, whereas commutative changes the order. So does this property work with everything? No, because we found right here, the commutative property does not exist when you're dealing with multiplication of matrices. Did the commutative property exist in addition of matrices? When you added two matrix matrices, did it matter which order you added them? No, so it didn't matter. So the commutative property of addition works for matrices. The commutative property of multiplication does not. I want you to uh, see if you can find this product. Okay, so solve this, multiplying these two matrices, if you can. Find an answer for this. Okay, so if we look at this, this is a one row by three columns, and this is a three rows by two columns. So these are identical. So our answer does exist, and our answer is going to be in what form? It's a one by two matrix. 
Okay, so if we take 2, 3, 4, and we multiply that directly by, and then we list this in matrix form, so negative 1, 4, 0, 1, and 5, 2. Hit enter. We have our answer of 18, 19 as your solution. Any questions?